Good evening and welcome to Livestream Faith from the Red House Partnership. My name's Stephen Gardner. I'm the Oversight Minister for the Red House Partnership. And it's lovely to join you online. It's lovely to be together um, and to share um, worship in this new way. Uh, we didn't think we'd be carrying on with some of the things that we did during uh, lockdown. But actually, this is a new congregation it's a new plant of a church live stream faith in midweek um sorry i didn't manage to press the right button for our um uh notices uh, to start with um so we're going to run through those now uh the Red House Partnership it serves the church in Adwick, Carcroft, Highfields, Oston, Skello, Skelbrook, Woodlands, and I've suddenly realised Hampole. Uh, I hadn't remembered Hampole. So we're going to add Hampole onto that logo. Um, we're live stream every day from All Saints Church at six o'clock here uh, on the All Saints Church uh, Facebook page. Over time, we're going to see if we can double stream uh, to the Red House Partnership page and eventually live stream faith will move permanently to the Red House Partnership Facebook page. But for now, uh, All Saints Church are hosting it for us. Uh, live stream faith is every Tuesday at six o'clock. We'd love some volunteers. Uh, it would be lovely if you'd be willing to come and volunteer, um, either to read the Bible reading or to lead the prayers. You need to record those, um, but get in touch with me if you'd like to do that. Uh, email or contact via the Facebook page um, or give me a ring. Um, if you'd be willing to do that, that would be lovely and we can get more and more people involved in our live stream faith. 
Um, our food bank uh, this week, uh, our quick shopping list is tin soup, jam, tinned hot dogs, and we're getting ready for Christmas. Yes, it's uh, Christmas is coming. Um, so we're asking for donations towards our Christmas boxes. So we're looking for some stuffing uh, for Christmas. If you want to donate, there's a box in the co-op. There's a box at the back door of the vicarage. For now, there's a box at the front door of the Willows on Crabgate Lane. You can email uh, to send gifts of money. You can put an envelope through the vicarage door with a food bank marked on it. Or you can volunteer. Please email foodbank at all church.net and we will be in touch to help and encourage you. Um, as we start our live stream faith together this evening, um, we've just got one more thing, which is the cartoon. Uh, Reverend Fun. Uh, many years ago, Reverend Fun started producing cartoons and they are some of my favourite Christian cartoons. Today is particularly good. Uh, instead of gluten free, uh, that end of the table is gluten free. Now, as we're talking about bread today, uh, that's why I chose that one, but a little bit more of that once we've had our reading. But we're going to begin with our collect, the special prayer written for this week. God, our judge and saviour, teach us to be open to your truth and to trust in your love, that we may live each day with confidence in the salvation which is given through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And our diocesan vision prayer. Living God, Jesus calls his followers to seek first your kingdom. Renew us as we make your love known. Release us to share freely together in mission and rejuvenate us to be fruitful in your service. Give us courage, wisdom and compassion that strengthen with the grace of the Holy Spirit. We may, as the Diocese of Sheffield, both flourish and grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. And our first song today uh, is a song of praise. It's a song that honours God's name and reminds us that he is the King of Kings. Glory and honour to you we bring, beautiful Saviour, your praise we sing. Heaven bows down to worship your name. God of creation, we praise.
Today's reading is taken from the Gospel according to John, chapter 6, reading verses 35 to 40. I am the bread of life, Jesus told them. Those who come to me will never be hungry. Those who believe in me will never be thirsty. Now, I told you that you have seen me, but will not believe. Everyone whom my Father gives me will come to me. I will never turn away anyone who comes to me, because I have come down from heaven to do not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And it is the will of him who sent me that I should not lose any of all those he has given me, but I, that I should raise them all to life on the last day. For what my Father wants is that all who see the Son and believe in him should have eternal life, and I will raise them to life on the last day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks, Tony. Um, we're working our way through the next few weeks on Livestream Faith through the I am statements of Jesus as we find them in the Gospel of John. Um, Jesus said a number of times, I am. And we talked about this last week, that, that those words alone are a direct statement of who Jesus is. I am is the special name for God. The Greek words ego Amy that Jesus uses are the same words that are used of God himself in the Greek translation of the Old Testament, what's called the Septuagint, um, which is what the modern Jews would have been using at Jesus, in Jesus' time. They would have known about that. Um, so Jesus was pretty obvious in the way that he spoke about himself. And the first of these statements comes up in John chapter 6, um, the section that Tony just read for us. I am the bread of life. Now, that's a curious thing for Jesus to say. But actually, what helps us a bit if we look at the context of where this happens. So John chapter 6 starts with a story I'm sure you all know. I'm, oh, I'm sure you know this story. It's the story of the feeding of the 5,000. Is that the one with the loaves? And the fishes and the little boy. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Uh, little boy's packed lunch gets pinched by the disciples in order to feed 5,000 men and an unknown number of women and children, but probably another five to 6,000 women and children. That's an awful lot with five loaves and two fish. Then, well, I, uh, I'll come back to that in a minute. Then, Jesus walks on water. Yeah, he walks on water across the surface of the water to his disciples. And then he starts teaching the people um, and they keep asking him for miraculous signs. Um, and they say, our forefathers ate the manna in the desert. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Um, and Mo Jesus says, I tell you the truth, it wasn't Moses that gave them bread from heaven. It was God. And, and the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven. The one that God has given to sustain his people. And then they say, well, can we have this bread, please? They want manna. They've not seen manna. They've not tasted manna. It, it's like this beautiful food that everybody keeps talking about. Never mind that the, the, the nation got so fed up with manna that God gave them quail till it came out of their nostrils. Yeah. That, read that bit in, in uh, I think it's Exodus. Um, it, may, it may be in Numbers. Um, it's, it's a gorgeous bit where the people say, oh, we're so fed up with manna. Can you give us something else to eat? And God says, you'll give you quail to eat until it comes out of your nostrils. And it did. Ugh, I know. Um, and, and they say, give us this bread. We want this special bread. We want to be like our ancestors, eating the bread that comes down from heaven. And Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Now, there's, I could probably preach for several weeks alone just on this passage. There's so much in that section. But firstly, 
Jesus feeds the 5,000 with his own hands. This isn't bread that appears overnight from heaven. This is Jesus physically feeding the crowd with food that they saw in front of them that he then multiplies. Jesus is feeding people by the power of God. That echoes with the manna in the wilderness. As you see, they talk, you know, the people are thinking, oh, feeding, feeding me from heaven, that's manna. But then what happens next? Jesus doesn't part the Sea of Galilee. He walks over it. He doesn't part the sea. He walks over it. He doesn't need to part the sea. He just trolls across the top of it. So Jesus isn't just the one who, like Moses, fed the people. Although, as Jesus said, it wasn't Moses that fed the people. He also doesn't need to part the sea. He's greater than Moses. He can walk on it. So Jesus is like Moses. Then he's greater than Moses. And he points out to the people that it wasn't Moses that gave them the manna in the wilderness. It was God. So if it wasn't Moses that did the thing with the bread, but God and Jesus did the thing with his bread, then Jesus isn't a prophet like Moses. He's God. And Moses could only part the sea so the people walked through on the dry land. Jesus walked across the top of it. All the time, the things that Jesus are doing are escalating. He's greater than Moses. He's greater than the prophets. This is somebody different. And then what does he say? I am the bread of life. That special name for God he uses of himself. And he's just said the one who gives the bread of life is God. I am the bread of life. The one who comes to me will never go hungry. And the one who believes in me will never be thirsty. But I've told that the, the, the provision of God, God wants his people to be filled with good things. Jesus is the answer to all of the questions of our life. But then Jesus says. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. So, unlike Moses, who was only for the people of Israel, Jesus is for anyone. Again, he's greater than Moses. For I've come down from heaven not to do my will, but the will of the one who sent me. Even though he is greater than Moses, Jesus still chooses to be subject to the will of the Father. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all that he's given me, but raise them up on the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Jesus is the one who will raise us to life. But only God can raise people to life. So who does that say Jesus is? What we'll see over the course of the next few weeks as we meander our way through the I am statements is we will see that they are always a giant signpost pointing to Jesus and saying, this man is God. Look at the context of that chapter. Feeding supernaturally, greater than Moses. Walking on the water, greater than Moses. Raising to life those who are dead, greater than Moses. Being in himself, greater than the manna that the forefathers ate in the wilderness. Even at this very early stage, we're, we're right at the start of John's account here. Even at this stage, Jesus is making it clear that he is God. 
And I, I know sometimes there are people that will um, will say to you, oh, I, I love Jesus teaching. I, you know, I love the Sermon on the Mount. I love what he says about loving your enemies and all of that. But I don't think he's God. Well, if you believe that Jesus said the things about loving your enemies. Then you have to believe that he said the things about him being God. You can't pick and mix faith in Jesus Christ. It's all or nothing. And if you like what he says, if you hold him to be a great moral teacher, then you have to accept that when he says what he says about him being God, that those things um, are... Um, oh, sorry about that. My... Um, despite the fact that I'd um, set my... Um, uh, thing to do not disturb mode it's um uh it, it, it's it's managed to go off to remind me to close down telephone church um because telephone church finishes earlier on normal day so i do apologize about the um, slight vibrations uh, that you experienced and the noise is off i will make sure i change that for next week um jesus is god even at this early stage now remember what did we say that john's gospel was for John told us in that passage that we read last week. These are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. This is the first great statement of who Jesus is. Greater than Moses. He is the one who, who completes what Moses started. Moses, manna, feeding. Jesus feeds. Moses, water, walking through. Jesus walks on. Moses offers the bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life. And again and again and again and again, we'll see how these I am statements echo back to some of the great heroes of the Jewish faith and say that Jesus is the pinnacle of those heroes. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are the bread of life, that you, that when we are with you, we won't go hungry. We won't be thirsty. We'll be filled with all the fullness that you long to give to us. Would you help us to put our faith and our trust in you today? and always. Amen. So we're going to sing again. We're going to sing a song that says thank you to God for all the good things we have to eat, for prunes and pizza, stir fry stew, chocolate and jelly, all come from the one who is the bread of heaven. And squids, and squids, great blue whales, great blue whales, for slugs and spiders, slugs and, spiders and, a bucket of snails, and a bucket of snails. I give you thanks, I give you thanks for all that you've made, for all that you've made, the wonders of creation, the wonders of creation, everywhere displayed. Everywhere displayed. Stir fry stew, stew. chocolate and jelly, and jelly. All, come all come from you. You feed me and you clothe me, watch over my sleep. Cause you are my shepherd, and I'm your sheep. God, Father God, in heaven above, in heaven above, your holy.
holy and just. You're holy and just. With amazing love. With amazing love. You're merciful and kind. You're merciful and kind. And you love to forgive. And you love to forgive. And being your child. Being your child. Is the only way to live. Is the only way to live. I'm still amazed at what we managed to achieve during lockdown with those distance recordings. Uh, and I love the fact that Dave left that little chuckle in at the end of I Give Thanks. Um, we're going to pray now. Um, we're going to pray um, particularly around some of the themes that have come out of today's talk. So as we sit, shall we pray? <laughs> Excuse me. Firstly, Father, we pray for all those who are physically hungry. We pray tonight for those who volunteer for our food bank and we thank you for the work that they're doing to bring relief to the suffering and the shortages. We thank you for those who are working day by day to overcome the issues of poverty that are faced in our communities. We pray for those who are hungry, that you would give them help, you would give them strength, that our nation would choose to act justly and to share fairly the good things that we have. Lord, will you inspire your church to do all that she can to ensure that the hungry are fed, the widow and widower are cared for, and that the orphan finds help and support. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are spiritually hungry, those who don't know you, Lord Jesus, those who've never heard properly the message of your love for them. We pray that they would hear, we pray that they'd click on Facebook and discover here something of the message of love that you have for them. We pray that people would tell them. We pray that you'd make us bold to share the faith that we have so that others will come to know the, the love that you have for us. Father, for the spiritually hungry, find good food and not bad. May they stay away from, from the things that will harm them from spiritualism, from mediumism, from all those other things that, that suck people in. We pray that they would eat pure spiritual food, the food that you give them, the food that comes from heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all those whom we know who are who are, who have gone before us in faith those who will be raised to life in the resurrection those who are cheering us on as we continue to run the race we thank you for their witness we thank you for all that they did to help us and to bring us to faith would you help us to honor their memory by following their good example. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for all those who are sick or suffering in any way, that you will be their strength, you will be their shield, you will be their healer and their helper. Come, Lord Jesus, we pray. In your precious name we ask this. Amen. And so let's pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. And in word and sign, we pray. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Jesus said, it is my Father's will that I would lose none of those who have given me, but I will raise them up on the last day. And our final song tonight is a hymn that reminds us of the great message of God's salvation, of us being saved from our sins, of us being given that new life to live forever with Jesus. And can it be that I should gain an interest in the Saviour's blood? Died he for me, who caused his pain for me, who him to death pursued. Amazing love, how can it be? that thou, my God, shouldst die for me. Let's give thanks to God for his great gift of life to us. i
And so we come to the end of our live stream service this evening. I'm going to pray God's blessing for us. So may Jesus satisfy your hunger. May Jesus sate your thirst. May Jesus raise you up on the last day. And may he give you that life which never ends, that starts now in all its fullness. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us always. Amen. Saints of God, let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. A word you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. You have been so, so good. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up.